Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another Black Ops 3 video. As you can see today, we're going to be looking at the top five paint jobs of the week. A lot of you do love this series, so if you want more, be sure to smash that like button down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Now, last time when I did this series, I did do 10 uh, paint jobs of the week, but we're going to be moving it down to five uh, just because I talked for ages and literally the video will go on for 15 minutes. So I think five is a cool number. If you guys want to back to 10, let me know in the comment section down below as well. But I you can see by the title and thumbnail we're going to be looking at the top five paint jobs of the week but within a tv shows so these are tv shows which are orientated towards the camos in black ops 3 which do look amazing so let me know in the comment section as well out of all of these camos which one is your favorite so starting off as you guys can see at the fifth spot has to be a spongebob camo i'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen a spongebob tv show or even the movie um but when i was growing up i used to watch spongebob a lot and to be honest honest this camo just brings back memories of Patrick and obviously the boy Spongebob and to be honest the camera looks absolutely amazing it's super detailed uh, with Patrick's eyes and his face especially when he opens his mouth as well and there's Spongebob with his eyes as well to be honest all of the Spongebob cameras or emblems I see are literally super detailed and they do look quite amazing as well so Spongebob definitely has to come in in the fifth spot let's head over into spot number four I'm hoping most of you guys have seen this TV show and as you can see it is Family Guy. Family Guy is probably one of the funniest TV shows I've ever seen in my life. Uh, just because of Peter, Brian, Stewie, pretty much the whole family are just absolutely amazing and just funny all in all. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend because you'll be pretty much laughing for ages. I've seen every single season, including the new one, uh, which didn't come out too long ago. But to be honest, I absolutely love Family Guy. Um, the camera, as you can see, is the best one I could find. It's obviously Peter Griffin. Not too sure exactly what he's doing in the camera, but what I can make out of is he's trying to punch someone or something, and that's why there's blood coming out of his hand i'm not sure but if you've seen the earlier episodes of family guy uh he does have a fight with a chicken pretty much across uh the whole the whole city he's in so as you can see that's probably why he's doing it i'm not too sure but all in all that one does look pretty sweet Let's head over into the third spot. The third spot, as you can see, is American Dad. Now, the reason why this one is higher up um, is because the camo looks so much better than the Family Guy one. As you can see, it's the American Dad on there himself. And of course, there has to be an American flag behind him, just like the intro to the TV show. Now, to be honest, the American Dad and Family Guy are quite similar in terms of TV shows. But personally, in terms of preference, I find Family Guy to be better just because I find it a little bit funny. But both of them are literally quite similar because both those families are pretty much screwed over and everything they do is absolutely funny. But I personally recommend Family Guy. Let me know out of those two, which ones do you guys like the most? But all in all, the camo of the American dad himself is super detailed as well as the American flag. So it does look absolutely amazing. And that one does come in in the third spot. Let's head over into the second spot. And as you guys can see, this is also another cool TV show and that is Futurama. Just like the Simpsons, both TV shows are pretty awesome but this one is here instead because the camo looks absolutely amazing. So before we looked at the SpongeBob and Patrick camo, this time we have the Futurama one. And as you can see, instead of SpongeBob and Patrick, we actually have Zoidberg and Bender himself. And to be honest, it looks pretty cool as well. I find this one to look even better because it's more detailed and it's literally accurate. Like the face of Zoidberg and Bender are literally just borderline the same. I do like Bender's face because of the robot aesthetic features on it. And the we got Zoidberg's like I don't even know what Zoidberg's meant to be like a clam or something I'm not too sure throughout the throughout the whole Futurama series but the tentacles on his face do look very detailed and all in all it does look absolutely amazing so that one definitely does have to come into the second spot let's head over into the first spot and in the first spot in the top five paint jobs of the week was actually made by a subscriber who sent it to me on Twitter and his name is James Haynes and as you can see this is making a murderer and if I'm correct this series is on Netflix I haven't seen it yet I'm not sure if I will but what I do know about this series is that there is a murderer who was guilty of doing a murder I'm guessing and I'm trying to think but I'm pretty sure the whole idea of the series is to free uh, the murderer which his name is Avery and um, obviously they got evidence and stuff against them but all in all the camera looks cool as you can see the guy's face if I show you guys the logo of the TV show right now it literally looks the same so James 
Haynes did an awesome job of pretty much mimicking the TV show on the camo, uh, which does look pretty cool. So as you see, it says making a murderer. Not only that, but he has another side of the coup. And as you can see, it says free Avery, which is the main protagonist, which they're trying to free throughout the TV show, uh, which I think is awesome. It's also a documentary if you guys are wondering. But all in all, that one does have to come into first spot because it looks absolutely amazing. And it pretty much just mimics the TV show's logo and everything precisely. So James Haynes, good job in coming number one in the top five paint jobs of the week. And as a bonus for today's episode, I thought why not go ahead and add this in, but as you can see, it is the Breaking Bad camo. Probably the best TV show I've ever seen in my life. I highly recommend it to anyone if you want to see another TV show or you're bored or something. Definitely check it out. It's a very funny and just pretty much awesome action thrilled packed TV show. Can't add in more adjectives to that, but it is literally amazing. So I would check it out. As you can see, it's pretty much got the chemical elements BR and BA, as you can see, to make up Breaking Bad. And it looks pretty amazing because it obviously has its aesthetic colors, which is green. And all in all, that one does look pretty cool. So let me know in the comment section down below out of all of these, which one is your favorite to be honest out of all of them my favorite probably is making a murderer and the breaking bad camera both of them do look pretty cool and all in all those are the top five paint jobs of the week so let me know guys in the comment section which one is your favorite hopefully you've enjoyed and i will catch you guys later globe out